Well, think about it in the form, in the context of relationships. We want to give you a different idea or a different spin on it tonight, just where you say, okay, if I see God and his kingdom and his righteousness, all the other things that I have this desire for, even if it may be another career and all those things and, and the tangible things that are, are going to be successful in your life. But when you think about it in the context of relationship, imagine how it's going to impact not just your immediate relationship, but the, even the future ones that are actually coming. And I think one of the things that I know Salvation has done that's made a difference in us is that we all come with a temperament. We all have a personality. We all have things that have happened in our life. But I really believe that the reason why we all need the fruits of the spirit, the reason why we all need salvation is because left to our own self, we can only get to a certain level of growth and where we can benefit in relationships by ourselves. But when we allow the Holy Spirit, when we allow our relationship with God to be the source of how we do things, it gives us an, it gives us an unfair advantage that without Christ, so I don't think that Christians are better. I think we're better off. I think that when things happen, that we can recover because of the peace and the love of God. And so when we look at it as far as what are the evidence of it, and, and giving yourself away is understanding that that's what we are, we sign up for. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we, when we, we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, to make him a priority, to make him first, to make the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is to spend time with the Lord so that you can exemplify or you can be a display of his splendor because you've spent time with him and if you really want to where it kind of boils all the way down to the very beginning we believe that if the god of the universe who created mm -hmm. marriage and relationships i think he knows how it is supposed to operate so when you think about that how it operates it by putting him first and putting others ahead of yourself you're going to flourish and that's where you're going to get all the things that we've kind of talked about tonight when it comes to your own relationships it's going to get better and it, and it doesn't happen overnight and i think so many times um we want to receive without giving well the bible says that god so loved the world he gave so if we're going to be like our heavenly father we have to give to the lord our goals our dreams our desires so that he can then say, okay, now this is what I want you to do with that. This is the direction I want you to go. And so when we begin to live our lives being led and being um, governed by his whole, by his spirit and by his word, then when we, we're trying to make decisions, we, we can go to him. And when, when we work with couples, well, we have, when was the last time you prayed? When was the last time you prayed together? When was the last time you spent time with the Lord? And it may seem cliche, but again, by ourselves, we are not so nice you know and and the last point i'll make on this one is whether you're married or single or engaged or dating or whatever the case may be this has to be the first yeah. this is why we wanted to bring and start out this course with talking about oneness and, and talking about the things that are pivotal and it is vital to any relationship that you would have is you have to give the first relationship the first priority in your life because no matter what we talk about for the next four weeks after this, it will be mute. It will be of no good. It will be of no value if you don't have this first relationship in right, proper position. And, and it's not, uh, we're not talking about religion. We're not talking about traditions. We're talking about you really having an authentic, genuine relationship where God is the source of how you make decisions, that the Bible is the foundation of your life, and that serving others and making the kingdom of God attractive to people because we don't realize that the decisions that we make are either going to draw people to the kingdom or push them away. And so we want to make sure that we equip all of us to be in a position to, to be light and to be um, loving and kind and patient. And we can't do that by ourselves. And I think that we all will be honest. We realize that we need to have a relationship with God in order for our marriages to thrive because you can have a long marriage and, do well, but at the end of the day, the Bible says, we're probably man to gain the whole world and lose the soul. So if you have a good marriage, but you can't share with anyone and you don't have an eternal place to be rewarded for that, then you kind of sell yourself short. And so this last, this slide is basically um, kind of explaining uh, where you guys can go. And so we hope that this time that we've spent talking about salvation and um, having a relationship with Jesus Christ has been beneficial and that it will remind you of the importance 
of spending time with God and giving him your heart and giving him your life. But we we're created this environment where now um, you can actually go to the to the to the website at richrelationshipus.com. And we have the oneness code. It's a private group for you all. And so you can actually go there and the under the um, about us, there's a space that says the refuge. You can go there. This is only for the people who are in the oneness code. Um, who are part of this group, you guys can go there and the password is safe place. Um, if you have like, you wanna talk to each other, you're welcome to do that. But if you have topics and things that are private and personal and you want us to work with you through those things, you can send us an email, you can text us and us. you can call us, feel free to call us because this is not just about us doing this, um, this one time a week. It's really about building a community and helping us to get healthy to the point where we can help somebody else because we can't always remain students. At some point, we each have to become teachers to people in our community. And it's not about being perfect or having all the answers, but it's about being available. If, if anything, God will be able to show you that God will use whoever will be willing to be available. And that's what we all we wanted to do even during this time is just to make ourselves available to those that we meet, that we already know, to say, you know what, we want to help whatever, wherever, whenever, however we can in helping you develop a better relationship. Again, we said we don't have all the answers, but there's some things that we do know, and we look to glean things from you as well. That's why we're doing this. We just see us ourselves as just the, the catalysts and the facilitators of this, that we hope this actually bursts into something bigger to embrace every single person that is in this course or even those who are listening or seeing this message for the very first time, because this is what it's really all about. We have to do this together. As we say in our podcast, we're stronger together, and that's the only way that you're actually going to grow. And so this kind of shows you ways you can connect with us, ways that we can continue to outside of, because throughout the week, you guys will have, um, if you, when you go to the course, now, now if you go back and log in to the Rich Relationship Refuge, you're going to see lesson one, which is week one. The video will be up by tomorrow, but the content is already there. So if you want to go there and download the workbook, for those of you who don't have a workbook, don't worry. We've already put each week there where you go there and you hit it and you download it and it gives you the questions. It's very important that you take the time to throughout the week, spend a little bit of time answering these questions and being honest with yourself. The more honest you are with yourself, the more you're going to get out of this. This is not just about you listening. It's about you writing. It's about you talking. It's about you um, communicating with each other. And so you can do it your time together. You can do it separate, but you want to make sure that the things you write down, that you have time that you, you it creates conversation with the two of you. And so this whole week, um, there's assignments that you can go through. Um, and then each time you go through a video, hit next. And then at the end of the course, you guys are all going to get a certificate <laughs> because we want to make sure that you have a way to show 